If you're out there in Cali and you're looking to get low-cost rentals, I'm your guy. Want to watch? Ah, la, la. Can't even talk. I got such good deals coming at you today. I can't even get it out there, right? The deal I got today is from my man Dirty. Dirty's an investor from California. Folks, his name's not really Dirty. Like, what, are we going to slap his mom for being crazy, thinking of that crazy name? He's just at the doctor. Come on, that would be insane. No, it's a nickname, people. He's from California. A bunch of communist manifesto lunatics out there. They hate landlords in California. He can't give his real name. Are you crazy? It's a nickname. Anyway, Dirty. Dirty's going to make a lot of money with this property, right? Dirty, you sent me this deal. You're like, hey, Jay Wise, I think I want to make a bit of 105. Let me know your thoughts before I try to do so. Good news, bad news, sandwich, okay? Good news. You're right. This property's awesome. Bad news. Zero chance you pick it up for 105, Dirty. I think you're going to have to spend a lot more. As a matter of fact, we need to go over this thing because I love the deal quite a bit. So let's do that right after this. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and man, I got a popping bird deal today, boys and girls. This one is, woo, this one's pretty. 1508 Fillmore Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio. Now, first things first, let's talk about Lorraine, Ohio, right? Because this property is listed today, today, hit the market today. And boy, we are going to need to move quick because this one is a nice one, folks. This is an awesome bird deal. But first, let's talk about Lorraine. Lorraine, Ohio, it's a uh, similar uh, or the same as, I guess you could say, the Cleveland market, right? I know a lot of people uh, are looking at the best turnkey markets, and you're going to hear Cleveland, the Cleveland market. Lorraine is about 30 minutes west of Cleveland. In my opinion, I think Lorraine has an easier-to-deal-with government. I think the government is actually more landlord-friendly than Cleveland. See, when people think the Cleveland market they think it's all Cleveland. That's not the case, right? Cleveland's got like 350,000 people. The market we service here at Holden Wise, the place we do the deals, where we find the properties for you folks, where we do property management, where we do maintenance, where we do construction, where we do insurance, all over the Cleveland market, like 5 million people, okay? Well, actually, we do insurance in all of Ohio, uh, but the other stuff we do up in the Northeast region, there's about 5 million. Uh, million people in that area. Only 350,000 of them live in Cleveland, right? So Cleveland is just one city in the greater grand scheme of things, right? So it doesn't. It gets like a lot of the press. A lot of the press doesn't go to places like Rain, where this is. 30 minutes west, nice little town, more landlord-friendly than Cleveland. And if you don't believe me about the landlord-friendly stuff, let's talk about the new lead paint laws that Cleveland passed. I got a half-hour video in the show notes. If you're going to invest in this region, that is big. You need to understand that process because a lot of people don't. Brand new laws, brand new regulations. A lot of people don't understand that, okay? If you're going to invest in this market, I'm sure you're going to be looking at some properties, at least in the city of Cleveland. You need to know that. So that's in the show notes. You need to check that out. But this property, it's in Lorraine. They don't have those regulations, number one. Number two, even if they did or if they get them one day, will not matter because this was built in 1980. Lead-based paint was made illegal in Ohio in 1978. I believe all of America, but I know for a fact Ohio, okay? Now, what else is going on in Lorraine? Well, I consider it like a C-grade neighborhood. If you don't know what that means, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods below. In addition, Lorraine is about to get uh, two new naval bases. There's going to be like three or 4,000 new jobs. So all told, for cash flow investing, I freaking love the location. And this house, listed at 99.9, is going to be an awesome burr, right? Because this is worth about 160, and here's one of the vacant units. You don't really need to do much. They put fresh paint in it. You just got to get rid of this old school looking floor right here, okay? You don't really uh, need to do much. You need to do a little love in the in the kitchen here, make it match, but not much, right? This is just going to be a simple 
teeny weeny cosmetic paint job. Uh, the upstairs, they got or, uh, flooring job and a little bit in the kitchen there. Uh, upgrade the bath just a little bit. The floor in the bath looks old. Other than that, the rest of the stuff is probably good to go. Now, on the other side, they have a long-term tenant paying way below market rent. Okay, that particular tenant uh, is going to be paying five eighty a month on a month to month. Okay, if you want, you could just go to market with them, or you want you want to remove them. Assuming you remove them to get two brand new market tenants, all you got to do to get this thing ready to go is put about twenty grand in it, folks. Just do a simple twenty grand cosmetic renovation. Okay. And then you got two tenants in this sucker at nine hundred a pop. That's eighteen hundred a month, twenty one thousand six hundred a year. After calculating your fixed and variable expense estimates with my team managing the asset for you, you're looking at a pure profit average of about eleven thousand dollars a year. Now, here's where the bird deal comes in. Here's where the pricing comes in. These people listed it at ninety nine nine. All you need to do is put twenty grand into this thing. And it's worth 160k. Two tenants, two renovated units, only cosmetic stuff here. 160 thousand dollar duplex, 1800 bucks a month in rent. That's where you're at. Now, do I think you're gonna get the opportunity to buy it for 99.9? Absolutely not. There's no way. There's probably gonna be 35 offers on this thing. Uh, either the listing agent and the seller uh, have no clue what they're doing, and they drastically underprice this thing. Or they do know what they're doing, uh, and they did it on purpose to develop a bidding war. I'm not sure. But either way, a bidding war is coming because this is on the MLS. 5,000 real estate agents in this area have access to this. So there's no way in hell you're picking this $160,000 duplex that only needs 20 k up for 99.9. Not going to happen. I think we need to go very aggressive. I think we need to try to pick it up at 125 because at 125 it's still an awesome bird deal. 125 we put in that 20 We're all in at 145 Get it to a price for 160 Bank's going to kick you back 120 You got your two $900 tenants in there. In long term, you're looking at a 20% cash-on-cash return, right? Created $15,000 of equity just like that, right? Because... Maybe they made a mistake. Now, that's the thing. I don't actually know if we'll be able to pick it up for 125 I hope we can. Going $26,000 above list price seems like a good strategy to get it, but who knows? Like I said, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from being a $160,000 duplex. In addition, being built new, right, 1980, that's really new out here in the Cleveland market, right? Most stuff's built in, like, 1920s. In addition, you got the side-by-side -side layout. Way better. It's basically two houses smashed together, separate basements, everything. You don't got tenant A stealing tenant B's girlfriend's panties. Believe it or not, that happens. We've had to deal with that multiple times, right? Not just once, like literally multiple times. It's part of being a real estate investor, folks. But if you have a side-by-side -side duplex with separate basements, no shared laundry like the up-down duplexes, which are like 95% of the inventory out here, you don't ever have to deal with that. So not only do you get the higher rents, right? You get the $900 in rent. You also get tenants who typically stay longer. Any way you slice it, if you can get lucky enough to pick this thing up at 125 this is a home run among home runs. This is one hell of a bird deal, folks. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You can't do that with traditional turnkey companies, but you can do it here at Holton Wise. Let me know what you want to do. And if you want to do something, you need to move quickly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.